Horse Racing fans, welcome back to Final Stretch 1. This is technically Horse Racing Manager 1. It's the uh, first game in the installment. Um, most of you, or some of you that have played it, are obviously familiar with this. I haven't played this game, I think, in two years. It's kind of nuts. My last save file was like sometime in January or February 2022. Anyways, we are here on our playthrough. Um, I have to be honest, I don't remember much of what we're doing, so I'm just going to kind of try to hop back into it. Um, we have uh, this five-year-old male, this chestnut uh, trot, uh, trotter, most next time. I didn't name the horse. I don't think so, unless somebody remembers. I don't specifically naming the horse. I think I just probably bought this horse or something. Um, so far, he has two wins, three second-place finishes, two-thirds, four finishes in fourth place, and a sixth-place uh, finish. You see his preferences over here. He prefers uh, to be on the left lead. He likes uh, good sand surfaces. He does um, like the average distance. Um, no companion. I don't know if he likes blinkers or earplugs. Might still be figuring this out. His speed, acceleration. He, statistically, he's not great, but um, $42,000 winning this year is still not bad. Um, 39 total races, and most of those I don't think are with me. So, again, I don't even know where I was last time. So, um, I think we have him on a training regiment. I just kind of have him on a full deal. I have no training staff. What do they mean? Do I have a lad? I do have a lad. Okay, so he's just on rest. And let's see. His form's at 74. Injury's 28 out of 23. Endurance, 64 out of 64. Um, rest costs money in this game. And I think it depends on your lad or your trainer. Anyways, I am just so out of the loop. So what I'm going to try to do is just throw him into a race just to kind of see where we're at here. Um, so let's go to race calendar. And they said average distance. I don't even know if I can check his previous races like you can in Horse Racing Manager 2 to see the distances. No, you should be able to. So if you come to this trophy icon, this takes you to the records and where we finished. And our last finish, I don't know if it's the fourth place one. Let's see the date. Yes, the fourth place race. Um, it was 1,900 meters and we finished fourth. Now he went, he won at 3,000 meters. That's insane. Uh, finished second at 32. They said his distance is average, but he wants to run pretty long in this game. Those aren't average distances, so... All right, here's what we're going to do. Um, since we're just getting back into it, I hate the mounted races in this game. I really do. They're just not my thing. Uh, we're actually going to enter him in a race next week, the Empire Derby, 2,700 meters, hardest. It'll be on the dirt. It's a claiming race. I'm not really worried about him getting claimed, unless I can do something else with Dirt Handicap. I'm going to try the Empire Derby in East Rutherford. And as far as our jockey, Anna Cody, uh, we'll go ahead, or excuse me, our driver, we'll get Anna Cody back in the sulky. Our declaration has been made, and um, we're going to go ahead and advance to the next event. And please wish me luck that uh, I don't completely mess this up, but you guys know how it is for me coming back to games I haven't played in years or months. I, well, we'll see. So here we are. Uh, race card is seven races on hand today, but we will be participating in race number three with five-year-olds, uh, Trot, Group 1 National Race. I was going to say the Troop Group 1, like what? What am I saying? We're going to go ahead and simulate to my race, and let this take its time. I'm just so happy this game still works as it does, but I bought this game like forever ago. If you want this game, I would only advise you look on, uh, look on uh, eBay. Uh, maybe Macari is another place. I'm not even sure. Maybe Facebook Marketplace someone is selling it. I bought this game, like, I think over 10 years ago. I've, I've had it for a while. So anyways, um, here are our silks. I forgot these were our silks. <laughs> it's a field of 11. We'll be starting at uh, post position uh, number 11, actually. And let's see where they have us featured in this race. First place wins $43,000. Hopefully we can make that happen. Do we have any chances today? No, no, um, sure, and these are just what the bookies are saying, yeah, no hope, and if we look at the actual betting odds, yeah, we're going off at 19 to 1, um, yeah, they're not really giving us much hope here today, but that's okay, now I could simulate this race or I could play it myself, since this is my first time back in the game, and I'm pretty sure I was actually doing my races, um, manually myself, I'm gonna go ahead and participate manually, and if this doesn't go well, then I'll probably have the AI take control. Because what's the point in losing races 
Um, that's that's not the point. You know, I want my horses to do well. Ah, oh, I forgot. It's that it's this weird start thing and did not work. Oh dear. Okay, and I don't, I forgot. You don't want to break, so I have to manage. Oh, I've not played this game in years, folks. Just keep that in mind. Years, okay? And it's a pretty simple game to play. But um, definitely need to make sure I'm back in the swing of things. Actually, a pretty nice start since we had post position 11. Now, the braking meter is over here, I believe. Um, as far as going off the wrong lead or, or something where we'll get disqualified. But uh, we actually seem to be in pretty good position. So you see the endurance bar here. You have the green, yellow, orange, uh, red... Um, you want to make sure you keep these bars pretty close. Like, how fast are they running? 41. Riding too fast at 41? Really? Okay, I'll slow down to, like, a 40. And let's see. Let's see how that does. Still too fast at 42. They're running at 40. Normal. Okay, so it's not just me. Now are they saying we're running pretty normal. And if you can see this little white bar, this shows you where the race distance goes. This is the ending point. So you want to make sure this white bar stays a little bit ahead of where your green bar is. Now we're at 38. Okay, now everybody's really kind of pushing it. I don't know why, but that's okay. Just going to try to keep us in contention here. And I have to be honest, because it's been so long, I have forgot what these three different shades of triangles do. I think I'm in last place. Yeah, that's fine. We'll coast back here. Um, as far as the fatigue. Now you see over here in the bottom left hand corner, when your horse is getting close to obviously breaking, um, this bar will fill up with kind of a pinkish reddish color. You obviously don't want that. I think this is for maneuverability. This is, this might be for stamina. I think this is for, um, I can't remember. I know this is for maneuverability. This is for stamina, endurance, something like that. can't remember what the blue one is. If anybody remembers, let me know. Um, yeah, we're riding pretty good right now, though. I actually feel pretty comfortable, so um, I'll make my move once we probably get to the last... Well, I don't even know how many meters are left. It doesn't tell you how much of the race distance is left uh, like Horse Racing Manager 2 does. Got to be careful with the whipping as well. Don't want to do that. So we'll stay here. Stay in the pocket, obviously, behind these horses as they continue to do whatever the heck they were doing. We actually have pretty good stamina left, so I should be able to make a pretty good surge once we get to the end. And I'm just kind of going to bide my time. And then um, once I see what happens up here, we'll go ahead and fan these horses out. We're riding easy. Everybody else is riding fast or good. So I think we're actually in a good position to have a pretty good result here. And hopefully I can um, make it happen accordingly. But like I said, I'm going to bide my time. I'm actually going to just kind of put ourselves here. Fatigue is still doing well. And now I'm actually going to get us on the move. Don't break. Just give us a little bit more momentum. Here we go. Last 500 meters. Okay, don't break, don't break, don't break. Looking good. Looking good. They'll move out to the outside. If I'm worried if I put him on the whip, it may send him to break. We're running pretty good, though. Running pretty good. Getting close. But no, he's on a good surge. We still have a little bit. Don't know if we'll catch the winners. If I tap the whip, he's going to burn out now. So I can't do that. And obviously, starting from last place wasn't ideal. I could have gotten him more to the front. But again, it's my first time playing again. Let's see if we can increase that speed just a little bit. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Yes. Okay, managing, 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 managing. Oh, fatigue just hit the wall, and I burned him out. Burned him out, so in all, we are not going to finish in last. We'll finish 10th, but not the result you wanted getting back into the game. Actually, you that horse broke. Maybe we'll finish 9th? We'll finish 9th. No money, no nothing. Uh, we weren't expected to do well in that race anyways, and it's probably because it was just too high of a competition, and it just clearly didn't work out for us uh, the way we wanted. But next time we come back, we'll get into more of the management aspects of this game. We'll have to double check our staff members, the facilities, buildings, um, the horseshoe quality. Uh, we'll have to probably schedule a couple uh, doctor appointments to check the overall status of our horse and any recommendations we may get from those people in this game as well. So appreciate you guys for love and support. And like I said, next time we come back, we'll go ahead and uh, check all those things out. So until next time, HRG sending out. Hope you all have a great and fantastic day. See you later. Goodbye.